Hello, and welcome to another midweek Starship special of SpaceX in the News. Gasp. But Kevin, it's Monday. I know, right? Treachery. Well, as you're all well aware, Elon's Starship presentation is upon us, so I thought I'd get out in front of my busy schedule this week so I can have more time to prepare for that. So let's get into it. Oh yeah, it's the week of the big presentation. It's time to get excited. It's like Christmas for nerds. A NASA spaceflight article was released that wrote of the presentation's subject matter, which includes an outline of the current state of the Starship program, the Raptor engines, launch site developments, and design changes since Dear Moon. There will also most likely be new Starship animations to watch as well. Yesterday, Elon initiated a Starship tweet storm concerning the design changes we were all seeing right before our very eyes, but still finding them kind of hard to grasp. But it all really starts with a tweet from April 14th, when Elon randomly wrote, thinking about adding giant stainless steel dragon wings to Starship. And may I add, that's very appropriate for a vessel that breathes fire. So that was kind of an odd random tweet, and Elon never mentioned it again since, so we all continued on with the tri-fin design, thinking that's the way it was gonna go. Then just this weekend, video taken by Lab Padre captured a single fin being installed on Starship's lower half, and our collective hearts melted as we all witnessed a scene from Star Trek appear right in front of us. Twas very romantic. But then the SpaceX community started to take notice. Wait a minute. It looks like they're gonna install a second one 180 degrees apart from the first one. Symmetrically speaking, that only leaves room for two fins. No, wings. That makes them wings. What in the flying steel devil is Elon trying to pull here? And that's exactly what happened. The next day, thousands watched live as the workers placed a second fin, leg, wing, whatever, on the opposite side of the hall. Don't worry about those gaps between the fins and the body. Those will be covered. Elon tweeted with the picture, adding the rear moving fins to Starship Mark I in Boca Chica, Texas. And he didn't stop there. Let the journey down the tweeting rabbit hole commence. First off, the rocket will be fully stacked by Elon's presentation on Saturday. And his determination to make that happen, the word on the dirt road is that Elon sent a bunch of his Coco Mark II workers down to Boca Chica to pick up the pace. Which is probably why not much progress has been happening lately with the Mark II prototype. Elon wrote that the reason for the stacking delay is due to the integration of a lot of hardware into the nose cone while it's on the ground. This hardware includes the mechanics necessary for movable canard fins, cold gas attitude control thrusters or ACS, header tanks for landings, which are these tanks shown here in the original position, COPVs, large batteries, etc. And the reason why they're in the nose cone is to help counterbalance the high mass of the Raptors and the massive fins on the aft end. And according to his following tweets, he's not fully confident that using only two rear fins and separate airframe mounted legs will make Starship lighter. But it's the plan at least to try it out for the Mark I and Mark II prototypes. This is similar to the original BFR design, which only had one fin. However, there's still a possibility that they could implement a smaller third leeward fin that would be only used as a leg. So this is what we could be looking at as far as new designs go. Two fins, 180 degrees apart. Ignore the bump here that's left over from the previous design. All right, I did this last minute. It's kind of sloppy and I broke it, dang it. However, remember it is possible that future iterations could have a smaller fin here still, but it wouldn't flap or anything. No flappy third fins. Now this is where it starts to get confusing concerning Elon's tweets that we have to decipher. As originally planned, the rear fins will actuate or flap like dragon wings. The forward canard fins may actually be bigger now because we've seen for the last few weeks, a different type of fin that's lying on site at the Boca Chica construction yard that don't match these fins either. So we're thinking they'll go up here. And what it sounds like from Elon's tweet they'll actually move like this and I'll explain why here in a minute now these aft fins again were modeled after the original starship design and they will no longer protrude past the main body again that's because per Elon's tweet there will be separate airframe mounted legs there's also still the possibility that these fins aren't finished and that additional triangular tips will be added now concerning the landing sequence, what will happen is the forward fins will change position and deflect the nose upwards. And the ACS thrusters that are up here in the nose cone will thrust cold gas downwards to aid in that rotation of Starship. The rear fins will actuate up, which will create less surface area and therefore less drag for the aft end of the rocket. And the Raptor engines will fully gimbal upward, so when they thrust, they thrust downward, helping with that rotation as well. This will put Starship in a fully vertical position so it can light the fires and land on its feet. Of course, this may not be a 100% accurate representation, or Elon may change it again before Saturday. I will say it is pretty cool to see him put his faith in numbers, even though he may not be totally convinced of the new design. But anyway, there's more news here that we need to discuss concerning the Mark 1 prototype. That troublesome top of the upper half has been removed, not with a sophisticated space laser, but with a handheld saw and a dude wearing a diving mask. The nose cone has been transferred onto the new and improved top hall ring. 
and workers spent the night getting the two acquainted. See, I told you this was romantic. Oh, and if that wasn't enough for you, a raptor has been spotted on site. In fact, three raptors are already installed. <laughs> well, that's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you Saturday morning for episode 53 and perhaps Saturday evening for Elon's live presentation. I'll be covering it right here. No, we still don't have an exact time for that yet. But as soon as I hear something, I'll help spread the word. So make sure you follow me on my other social media accounts. Links are in the description. Many thanks to my eccentric patrons who help make these videos happen. If you'd like to support my work, please visit the Patreon link in the description as well. Thanks for tuning in, and until the next one, Godspeed.